Hi everybody, I'm Frank O'Brien and welcome to robertfrancis.wine.ie. Today in the final of my wine series with Curious Wines only, I'm tasting a Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. A Cabernet Sauvignon really has been the cash cow of the Chilean wine industry. It has absolutely elevated it into mass popularity. Cabernet Sauvignon really is the, the, the grape that's most famous for, uh, for being from Bordeaux, but really ha has been grown all over the world from California to Chile to Argentina to South Africa to Australia. Everywhere is growing it. So let's have a look at this Santa Alicia uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. This is the uh, same uh, vineyard as the Chardonnay that got 85, 86 points from me earlier. So let's see how the Cabernet Sauvignon gets on. It's the Santa Alicia Cabernet Sauvignon 2004 Gran Reserva de los Andes from Maipal Valley in Chile. I've actually had a number of wines from the Maipal Valley recently with uh, some Pinot Noirs and they've all done particularly well so I'm really interested to see how this wine gets on. And straight away there's that lovely color that you would expect from a Cabernet Sauvignon. It really does have a nice kind of dark 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 color dark purple red or black red even uh, being a 2004 it's 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 starting to mellow out a little bit it's actually um you know it's got a good color intensity but you can still see your fingers through it you can't make out any details but so it'd be kind of medium to to full but but not um absolutely pitch black and on the nose there's 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 there's, there's jammy fruits um, kind of getting uh, some black fruits, a touch of stra red fruits as well, which is a bit strange. Yeah, there's a definite note of, of cherry or strawberry, which is a bit odd in a Cabernet Sauvignon. You wouldn't see that all of the time. Cabernet Sauvignon, you'd really be thinking black currant, blackberry, kind of cigar box, cigar, coffee, those kind of flavors. Mm, this is kind of a, a more medium bodied Cabernet Sauvignon actually. Now with some bottle age perhaps it's starting to mellow but this is four years old. But it's definitely a nice nose, it's an inviting nose. It's not a um, hugely put you to sleep Cabernet Sauvignon. Which sometimes they can just beat you up these Cabernet Sauvignons. They just bring so much power and so much strength and structure that they really can be uh, jaw breaking wines. This is a nice Cabernet Sauvignon. As you can see, my mouth is already starting to dry up a little bit from the tannins. It's not quite Pucker City here, but there's definite tannins going on. They're, they're, they're firm, but yielding would be the, um, the wine speak term for them, but in a sense that they hit you and then they start to mellow off. They don't just hit and stay. You don't go, mm. There's a definite yielding of the tannin after a couple of seconds. There's nice fruit to this wine. It's, it's not a fruit bomb, but it's certainly heading there. You know it's New World. It's halfway between New World and Old World, which is nice. It's some nice berry fruits. It's well balanced. The alcohol doesn't appear to be out of sync or anything. I don't actually quite know what alcohol percentage this is. It doesn't. Oh, it's 14%. But the fruit and all of that can handle it. It can hold it all in, in place. And earlier in some wines I spoke where the alcohol just got a little bit hot on the earthwork Chardonnay at the back. But the, some wines, when they have enough fruit, enough structure, and enough power they can handle more alcohol percentages so while it was a tiny little bit for me too high in the earthwork chardonnay this can handle the 14 percent whereas the 13.5 i think in the earthworks but this is nice it's definitely more the of the kind of berry and berry and cherry fruits than you would expect necessarily from a from a cabernet sauvignon Yeah, it's a nice solid wine. At $13.99, it's, it's definitely a big step up from those $7.99 fruit bomb juice jugs that you're going to buy in Tesco or somewhere. It has a distinct, a distinct sense of character. There's some nice fruit, nice balance, good... Um, the tannins are quite nice, they do yield a little bit, but it's, it's not hugely concentrated. It's kind of, in a strange way, it's kind of a medium body Cabernet Sauvignon where they tend to be up at the full body Richter scale. This is a tight, a lighter style of Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, 
Uh, this would be perfectly suited to kind of some barbecued sausages or some burger or something like that. Doesn't necessarily have to be the quality of a fillet steak. Obviously a fillet steak will go perfectly with it, but it is for me that little bit lighter. The tannins are good. There's a nice uh, touch of oak with some pepper. Mm. Mm. It's a bit surprising for me that now it has more kind of, um, it, it's better than I had expected. Um, there's an awful lot of, of kind of, of Cabernet Sauvignon that gets pumped out, it, it kind of grows everywhere, it grows really well and uh, it's an easy grape to grow so a lot of the time people just grow it and pump out wine and in that lower price bracket you can get a huge amount of, of pretty poor Cabernet Sauvignon. People will remember the the now infamous Cabernet Sauvignon Pinotage from Aldi that um, made me look like I wanted to cry. But this is definitely a million miles away from this. I'd have to go, um, I'd have to go 88 plus on this wine. I think the it's a solid wine. The finish is a little bit short for me, but I think 88 plus. It's it, at 13.99. You're not going to go too far wrong with that. That's a that's a really solid um, Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. So good job, Matt. Good job, Mike. Um, I uh, I salute you. So. That's the final of my wine series with CuriousWines.ie. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any other retailers out there who'd like to send in and start a wine series with RobertFrancisWine.ie, please feel free to email me. And uh, we'll see you next time on RobertFrancisWine.ie.